hello everyone thank you for tuning into my channel so today I'm coming to you with my protective style wig journey update so just some quick background for those of you who have not been tuning in you should definitely take some time to watch all the videos in this series I have an introduction video where I present what I'm doing and then I have three updates update number one two three and then this one is update number four so basically from September of 2016 up into April of 2017 I wore my hair in wigs in a protective style and I decided to go with wigs I have done protective style journeys in the past where I wore my hair in extensions with uh, kinky, kinky twist styles and a Galise twist and even weaves um, like a natural hair looking weave and when I did that I learned that my hair really just cannot take the stress. And you may be like me where you grew up feeling like, well, you need a break from your hair or you just want to uh, let your hair grow out. You put your hair in extensions like micro braids, you know, or Senegalese twists. But for some people, even though after wearing your hair in extensions for several months, you have length because your hair obviously grew. Uh, for some people, your hair suffered dramatically via shedding. And that was the case for me. There were areas in my crown that were significantly shorter, and then there were areas where the length was there, but it was so thin, 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 and fine. So I just came to the realization that as beautiful as extensions are, because I love me some puffy twists, I love me some kinky twists, I love me some micro braids, I just cannot do it because my hair is just not capable of handling the stress. So with that being said, I was, I was asked to uh, try out some clip-ins by Big Chop Hair. This was in like August. So with that being said, I was asked to wear some clip-ins in August by Big Chop Hair. And after I wore the clip-ins, I didn't really like how much time the clip-ins required because essentially I had to still do my own hair in order for me to be able to wear the clip-in. So that wasn't working and I spoke with her and she told me that she was coming out with a series of wigs. So I wore that wig and I loved it. And I'll insert pictures of my experience, you know, here and there so you can see. Um, and I loved the freedom that the wig gave me. And so even though it was kind of like I was just initially just trying on the wig and I was gonna wear it as an option, after experiencing like two to three weeks of the ease of wearing the wig, I was sold. And I decided at that point that I was gonna see how long I could go wearing the wig or wearing wigs in general. And so that was how I embarked on my protective style journey. And then I made a commitment to trying it out for six months to see if, um, if I'd be able to go a full six months, you know, or if I would go longer. So I actually went six months, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. And at the very beginning of April is when I kind of started to feel like I'm over it. So, you know, if you follow me on social media, then you definitely started to notice that I've not worn a wig in a long time. It may not be as noticeable on this channel because the ch this channel is not like live. Things are recorded, pre-recorded, and then I put them up. So that's the situation. So right now it's May 2nd, and at some point in April, I got the itch to trim my hair. That was another thing I said I was not going to do during this entire experience. I said I was not going to trim my hair. I wanted to see how long my hair could grow, and so getting my um, quarterly trims would defeat the purpose um, of the challenge. And since I was going to be wearing a protective challenge, I felt um, protective style. I felt like my um, the quality of my hair wouldn't be as bad as if it was me skipping a trim when I'm constantly manipulating my hair. So in a six month period, I normally would get my hair trimmed twice because I prefer to get my hair trimmed every season or every quarter or every three months, depending on what makes it easier for you to understand. And so, yeah, I decided I was gonna end it because I was kind of over it. I was starting to feel like I, um, I just wanted to see my hair again. And um, I think what was also happening too was now that my hair is, has grown so much from wearing the wigs, 
I want to wear it more. I feel a lot more confident about it and I feel like it looks a lot better now. Um, having not played in my hair for six months, I felt like I got I kind of miss it, you know, that you, I had that phase where I didn't want to really do anything to it and now I kind of miss it. Um, but I did give myself a trim. Let me go back to that. So I did give myself a trim and I actually recorded the trim so that everyone could see how I do it. It's not a professional trim. I have another video on my channel where I discuss a trim and I go more into detail on how I trim. So you can watch that video if you want a little bit more commentary on a trim. But I recommend that if you're not really comfortable comfortable and confident with trimming your hair that you go to a professional because they'll do a much better job and in to be honest usually when you go to a stylist they're gonna shape your hair when you trim your hair you're not doing that you're just getting rid of what you feel is the damaged part of your hair or the thinner part of your hair sometimes we're a lot more conservative because we don't want to cut our hair so we don't always cut off what needs to be cut off and like I said you lose shape once you start trimming your own hair because the areas that should be this way are not and you know it's not even so if that's a concern of yours definitely go to a professional to get your hair trimmed so moving into April I've really hardly worn wigs at all in April if I'm being honest with myself I might have worn a wig twice and it might have just been because I really needed to get um, go somewhere where I wanted to look nice and my hair was not ready for that uh, I was either really frizzy or not done. I didn't twist it the night before or whatever the issue may have been. Um, and it might have been a situation where I just wanted to wear a wig, so I just put on a wig. And I feel like those will that will happen, you know, throughout my entire this rest of this year. I don't foresee that I will never wear a wig again. I don't foresee that. I know I will and um, it just isn't gonna be like an everyday thing will I have a week where I want to wear a wig every day that might happen but am I gonna do this long-term thing where I'm only wearing wigs right now I'm not interested anymore I'm loving playing in my hair well I really shouldn't say let me not let me not let me be honest and not be misleading it's not like I'm playing in my hair every day the way you see it now is a chunky twist out I've actually found comfort in chunky twist outs there were um at the very beginning of my journey let's say in year one it one to two so 12 months to 24 months i loved chunky twist outs loved chunky twist outs and then somewhere after that i started not liking them anymore because i was more interested in a really defined look so I started doing my twists a lot smaller and um, focusing on how perfect the definition was and twisting regularly like every night because I wanted the same perfect curl definition the very next morning. And y'all know what happens when you don't twist your hair at night. It looks frizzy. It looks big if you have really thick hair. It gets matted down um, and it doesn't look as perfect as when you do a fresh twist out. So I was really focused on that for a while. And then of course you know in year three to four I got my hair tapered and cut it um, several times and then year four to five and then I just kind of like kept my hair one shape. So here we are now. I'm seven years natural and I'm really feeling the chunky frizzy twist out again. For those of you who want to know how I make my chunky twist out, I need you to let me know that you want to know. And you can do that in a number of ways. You can like this video if I get a lot of likes and I know that there's people out there that want that chunky twist out video. How about we do this? If I get um, a thousand likes, then I'll do a chunky twist out video. If it takes a while for me to get a thousand likes, like it doesn't have to be today, but if I get a thousand likes today, <laughs> then I'll make sure that I have it as my next video. However, if it takes a while to get that thousand likes, then someone, whoever tunes into this video and sees I have a thousand likes, just send me a, a comment in the comment of this video saying, hey Janelle, you got a thousand likes, you promised us a chunky twist out video, and I'll deliver at that point in time. So I'll leave it up to you guys 
to really decide on whether or not this chunky twist out video comes and this is just my way of um, not necessarily fishing for likes because for the most part those of you who enjoy my videos you do watch them the issue is it takes a lot of time to produce tutorials it doesn't matter what kind of a tutorial it is so I need the engagement to be there and if the engagement is not there I'm not gonna make the video, but if the engagement is there, then I know y'all are rocking with me and that's what y'all want. So y'all gotta do that for me if you want me to do this for you. So this is an example of a chunky twist out. Uh, usually it's about maybe 15 twists. My hair is very, very dirty. My hair has not been washed for maybe a month. Maybe, it's May 2nd. I do not remember washing my hair in April. <laughs> Um, maybe it's maybe it's a little bit less than a month maybe it's like three weeks this is the fourth week that I'm in now um, but yeah so my journey is done as far as the protective style journey goes I'm all done with that um, I enjoyed it and I highly recommend it to those of you who feel like your hair can handle wigs because a lot of people ask me questions about edges and for the to be honest with you all I did for my edges was keep them oiled up every couple of nights I would put my Jamaican black castor oil on my edges and I only wore my wig when I was out of the house I work from home so those of you working out of your home right before you walk out the door put the wig on and as soon as you get home take the wig off on your days off if you're not leaving your house or even if you are and you you know don't necessarily need to be you know selfie ready don't wear your wig and that's the only real thing that I did, but not everyone's edges can handle wigs, just like how my hair can't handle extensions and yours might be able to. So what works for me might not work for you, but through my experience, that really did help me. Um, and yeah, I also really wanna do a Q&A now that this is my final final um, protective style wig update. I wanna do a Q&A, so I absolutely need you to ask me your questions down below. If someone asks a question that's similar to the one you wanna ask me, just thumbs up their question. No need to type the same question over and over. And what I will do is I'll come back in another video and just do like my wig journey Q&A. That way I can answer your questions and hopefully we'll be able to give you some support if you want to do it. Now everyone who's currently on a wig journey with me, because when I announced my wig journey there were several people who decided they were going to go on one with me. If you're still on it, I want you to share with me in the comments your experiences thus far. Are you going to continue going on? Don't stop because I'm done. You know, if you want to continue going on, absolutely continue going on and if those of you who maybe stopped a little bit earlier on maybe at three months or four months or five months you know let me know how your experience let me know how your experience was and share that with me um, I also have two other wigs from Tony Daly if you guys saw my video of the new wig I had the Gabrielle wig and I still have the Tony wig and I have a big chop wig so I still want to support Tony. She sent me those wigs for free. Um, I'm not paid to do videos for her, but she did send me those wigs and I want to be able to st still give those of you who I said I would wear the wigs, I want to give you the opportunity to see what the wig looks like. So I may come back um, you know, over the next couple months when I get that itch to put on a wig real quick. I'll come back and I will wear one of the Tony one of the Tony Daily wigs that I have, either the big chalk wig or the Tony Daily wig. Because I still have to play with them. I've not taken them out of the box or anything like that. So that is definitely a goal of mine. And um, let me see if I can think of anything else. I can't think of anything else at the moment, but like I said, I really want to do a Q&A, a protective style wig Q&A. So please, if there's anything that I've missed or something you want me to talk about, answer, address, anything, I don't care what it is, good, bad, ugly, you know, um, please ask me. That way I can talk to you about it as best as possible. Before I go, I just want to say, I really loved my journey experience. I, I mean, if you can't tell, 
then you didn't see my hair in the beginning. I would not say that my hair was in bad condition or was damaged because I was routinely going to see my stylist every three months. I was continuously getting my hair cut um, to keep a shape. And then I decided I wanted to grow it out. Now, wigs are a great option for growing your hair out because you're doing nothing to your hair. And anytime you can do absolutely nothing to your hair, of course your hair is going to grow. Now, it's very likely that now that I'm going back to twist outs and stuff, that I might start to experience breakage again. So my goal is gonna be to try to figure out what, what regimen I need to do to be able to continuously maintain the growth that I have because I know that my hair is very delicate and um, if I don't go to get my trims every quarter I know I'll probably see a little bit of growth but I don't want to over manipulate my hair because I see obviously the effects of not over manipulating my hair I see the effects of it so what do I need to do now to keep this level of growth up and um, I don't have all the answers, but I have a pretty good understanding of hair and hair care and so on. But we make mistakes, you know, I'm not any different from you. My hair was thriving at the very beginning of my journey. I started experimenting with extensions and I suffered dramatic hair loss and dramatic shedding. So now that I'm not doing that anymore, I'm hoping that through my experiences, you can start having options. These are all options, just options that you can do and try so that you can be better on your natural hair journey. Okay, let me not make this video any longer than it is. I definitely want to ask you to please, 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 if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check, make sure you tap the bell so you can get notifications. Notification squad, where you at? Where y'all at? I love my notification squad. They stay on top of the videos. Yes, I love y'all. And I really do appreciate y'all because it, it definitely helps me with views when people get the notifications and they know, oh, Janelle put out a video. I got to watch it versus the people who come on YouTube every couple of days. And if you're subscribed to so many people, you might not see that I even put out a video. So the notifications help me, they help you stay updated with what I'm doing, and as always, I love you for watching. Bye!